Hello everyone and welcome to Lisa and Will's Halls. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you, but first, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that all bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And please give us a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel to grow. And with that being said, let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. And the first item is this Juncture Tote Bag. This is a Greenbrier product. They have just changed their labeling. And just look how pretty this is. With a pretty bumblebee and the white foliage in the background. The bottom is all in black. Let's see if I can get it open. It's all in black here and it has a reusable on the bottom. And the sides are also in black as well. And it has the black handles. But these are really pretty bags that Greenbrier has came out with. If you have watched any of our videos, you know that Will loves the socks from the Dollar Tree. And they've also named this or renamed this in the Juncture brand, but it is still a Greenbrier product. And this is the fried chicken with the waffles. And it has a gray color um, top and heel. These are really cute. They feel really nice as well. And we'll also picked up soccer. He played soccer in high school. And these have the black heel and the top black at the top with the soccer balls and this kind of like light green color. And then he found the remote controls for the gamers and a gaming kind of box thing here. I don't know what that is. But these would be great for Easter baskets. I think this one will go to our grandson who's a gamer and this is the little dash hounds we used to have one of these when i was little and so did will my dog's name was snoopy so those are really cute as well and then he got some with the birds these are bright and pretty with the teal colored or turquoise colored heel and top with the cute little birds so these were all of the socks that he found, and he does love the socks. He's got quite a collection of socks, and he does wear them, but he's bought so many it's going to take a while. He'll never run out of socks, that is for sure. And next up, we'll pick up some more of the Old Spice Soap. This smells really good. Uh, we have two sons, and they really like this soap. It's the Old Spice One Bar Soap. So he got five more of these. I think we had got four originally. So he got five more because these are going to go for Easter and a stocking stuffers for Christmas. And we'll also picked up just one of these. We hadn't seen this one in Dollar Tree. We did pick up the other Old Spice. I think it was Sport. But this one is the Old Spice Swagger. And a Perspire and a Deodorant. These smell really good. These are great for little gifts as well. These are new to Dollar Tree this year. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree. And it's the Christmas Easter eggs. Six piece. And these are the pretty colors they come in. And they're the cars. I'm going to take one out so we can see what it looks like. I just opened them all. But this is so cute. So there's a little car. These are perfect for Easter baskets. And that's how they open, and they do have it where it stays closed, and then you just put whatever you would like inside and close it back. But aren't these just adorable? I am so excited that Dollar Tree came out with these. These are perfect for Easter, and also they have these colors if you would like to give some to the girls. Aren't they just so pretty? So that is the only Easter item we've got. Our stores have not been getting out any of the good Easter stuff. That's how it goes when you shop at Dollar Tree. And Will found this hardback book. It's a game of thorns. This is the inside. Let's do a little bit better here. And this did retail for $14.95 in the U.S., $18.50 in Canada, and $9.99 in the U.K., and if you like books 
and cookbooks. Always check out the Dollar Tree. They have amazing cookbooks. And next, we'll pick up the Smoking Bacon and Hog Cookbook. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm from North Carolina, and we are crazy about our barbecue. And we used to cook whole hogs growing up. That was really fun. On Saturday morning, all the men would have the hogs cooking. And, oh, that's so good when you just walk up and pull some off and eat it. There's nothing better. And this book is, this cookbook is by Bill Galipsky. Galipsky? If I'm saying it correctly, it's the whole pig and nothing but the pig barbecue recipes. And he is a TV personality. And this book, let's see what it retails for. It retailed for $21.99 in the U.S. And it does have some pictures inside. Let's see if I can show you. Well, let's get look at this. Sauces and rubs. Oh, just look at it. It just looks so delicious. I haven't ate yet today. So this is looking really delicious. A barbecue parfait. I have never heard of that. Looks pretty tasty in the mason jar. Cuban pork burnt ends. Never heard of that and the barbecue so it does have a lot of pretty pictures as well inside has that north carolina eastern barbecue this looks really good this looks like a really nice cookbook so i was glad will found this at the dollar tree as this is will had went dollar tree shopping alone yesterday so he did a really good job and these are new. We have never seen these at Dollar Tree. And it looks like it's a Korean number one brand a chocolate and biscuit white cookie. Looks like the uh, Oreo cookies, the white chocolate. And let's see who this is it's by. It's distributed out of California, and it is a product of Korea. So those look pretty tasty. And like I said, these are new to Dollar Tree. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. And this is a repeat purchase. It's the eight count of Pop-Tart Frosted Chocolatey Churros. And we have got these before. And these are really good. So he picked up, I think, just one more box. And I think Will was very hungry when he was shopping at the Dollar Tree yesterday. But he also picked up Sugar Pop Swirl Lollipops Cherry Flavor in the seven piece. And they have the different colors. They're swirled. And these are a Greenbrier product. And then he also picked up another bag of suckers as well. And it's some mini carnival pops. And the, they're, they're really cute looking with all different colors. These are the eight count. Now the Greenbrier ones were seven count. But these were in the eight count. And they're 3.3 ounces. Let's see who these are by. These are distributed by B International in San Diego and made in Vietnam. And next, I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree before. These are the Chester's Pop Jalapeno Cheese Whirls. And that's what they look like. And they come, it says corn snacks, and they come in the two ounces. And these are a Frito-Lay product. And he also picked up some mini fudge marshmallow cookies. I don't know if we've had these before, and I do not know if they are new to Dollar Tree, but I don't think so because it is a Greenbrier product. And next, he picked up these Grab and Go Mothers, the original circus animal cookies. And they have the pink and the white with the little... What is it? I can't think of it. Sprinkles! There we go. And let's see who makes these. They are um, out of a candy company, Fiera, out of Chicago, Illinois. And this is a repeat item. My oldest son is staying with us, and he loves pickles, so I'm sure that's why we'll pick this up. It's Van Holtz Dill Pickle, Hearty Dill Pickled, made in the USA. And it comes with the water inside. And we have picked this up before. I don't know if it was this particular brand. 
And Will picked up the Lemonade Wilder's Light. Ten singles to go. He loves lemonade and he drinks these in his waters. And I just noticed he picked up these. Maybe he had a headache while he was out. I don't know. But it's only six tablets. It's the Go Packs Tylenol Extra Strength. And Will picked up two of these for myself. It's the Espresso Cafe El Moro. And this is a really good coffee. So like I said, he did get two. And I always pick up this coffee at the Dollar Tree. And they always have these pretty much at the Dollar Tree. It's the Animal Crackers Vanilla Flavor. It has the icing on top. And the six ounce. And Will picked these up for 50 cents. They're about to expire next month, so he went ahead and picked these up. He said that was the only one that left was that was left. So everybody grabbed those up. And next, I was happy Will found these. He said, I found a new item. Now I had seen them hauled, but he hadn't. And it's the touch of salt sweet potato chip. It is a 100 year old company. So it says right here. And these are really good. It's just a four ounce bag. But let's take another bag out. This one is two ounces. So it's quite a sizable difference. It's a lot in there for four ounces. Rather large bag. But these are really good. I wish he had picked up two more. So if I find these or he finds these again, we will definitely be getting these. And it's got sweet potatoes, vegetable oil, uh, canola corn, cottonseed, palm, and sunflower salt. And it's processed in a factory that also uses soy, wheat, and milk ingredients. It's gluten-free and cholesterol-free. But these are really good. And they're out of a company, it looks like, here in Ohio. But these are really good. And this is what, I don't know if you can really see the inside. That's what the inside looks like. We have ate quite a few of these already. But this is what they look like. They're the crinkled or ridged. These are really delicious. So definitely, if you like sweet potatoes, give these a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Will does not like sweet potatoes at all, but he tasted these and he said, hmm, they're pretty good. As I mentioned before, I think Will was really hungry when he was shopping at Dollar Tree yesterday, and he picked up this bologna. I think this is a really good deal. The Oscar Mayer bologna, eight ounces. Because at Walmart, you get the 16 ounces for $2, so it's... Uh, the same price, really, as if you got the 16 ounces at Walmart. And he also got the Oscar Mayer Salami. And it is also in the 8 ounces as well. And next, he picked up, my goodness. Next, he picked up this bologna. <laughs> he, was, he was on a bologna kick, wasn't he? And this one is garlic bologna. I've never tried this. I know Will has before, and he liked it. And this is in the 12 ounces. And uh, let's see if I can see who this is made and by. I can't really tell who it's made by. It does have a website, www.bar-s.com. But anyway, he had tried that before and he liked it. And he also picked up the Deli Style Smoked Ham. It's by the same company, 4 ounces. I don't think that's a really good deal, but that's what he picked up. And then he has picked up these um, sliced cheese before, the singles. And this is the Pepper Jack style. He says they're really good. I also haven't tried these, but he likes them. So he picked all this lunch meat and the cheese up. We normally always pick up the four rolls of toilet tissue at Dollar Tree. And yesterday, Will picked this one up. I have seen this in Dollar Tree before. And it is a large roll. It says one mega roll equals four regular rolls. So this is the Charmin Essentials Strong. Two times stronger, three times plus resistant, long lasting. So that is a nice roll of toilet tissue. And our last item for this Dollar Tree haul this was a new item to us. They had this in white, red, and this black color. We use a lot of garlic. And so he got this garlic press. It is by 
cooking concepts. I opened it up and you just put your garlic right down in here and you squeeze it. So it seems to be very sturdy. So we'll give it a try and see how that works. And it is called the Garlic Press. And it is a Greenbrier product. And that is the end of this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And until our next video, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye.